Hello everybody, this is Candice with Stampin' Pearls and today I'm bringing you a project using the Cricut Imagine yeah. and the cartridge that I'm using is my newest one that I received um, I got it yesterday when I checked my mail so I'm assuming I got it Saturday or Friday um, I'm using um, Kate's Kitchen and with this project what we will be doing is under the bonus content, they have a little recipe book that we will be um, putting together. Gather. I like gather. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So here you don't have you can um, with the bonus content you can't layer um, anything together. It's just the image is just as it is. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add add, and then I'm going to hit next. Now, as you can see, the image is actually a little small. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit the um, fit the page. And this is going to in, um, increase our, um, our image. And since this is a good size, I'm going to go ahead and um, select print. So, I'm going to hit next. And then I want to hit go. And I want to add a little pressure to my mat. And while it's printing, um, I'll be getting my other stuff together. And if I decide to cut out any other images from this Cricut cartridge, then um, I will do it at that time and come back and put our project together. Okay, and we're back, everybody. And I have um, cut out... Um, the images and I haven't assembled anything yet but luckily enough they came with some little instructions on what you're supposed to do and what I did was on this piece right here I have added I have messed up in writing but I had added a family um, recipe of cheese and egg that was um, from what I've been told an old um, Native American um, recipe and it's so delicious so, and it looks like the, the, um, this little recipe book that cuts out from the Kate's Kitchen only, um, prints out one tab, so you can only put it in one recipe unless you, um, cut out multiples, um, of this image that get in more tabs. But I only did just one, um, for the video. I also cut out some ribbon to match, to match our, um, colors. And what I've added to give, to add to my um, recipe was, since this is the cheese and eggs, I cut out the image of the, um, yeah. the bowl of eggs. Uh, and, I, and I cut it out mm. using the layered feature. Sorry, feature. my daughter is here wanting her milk. No, thank you. No, you. There you go. Mommy, what are you making? What are you, uh. what'd you eat? Who would eat the dad? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you eat the chickens? Yeah. Oh. Okay, and so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my, um, let me move this out of the way. Our, um, layered image, and sorry, it's a little bit small. I cut it out at one and a half inches. And I did that because, um, I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit. And I want to, let me just make sure that I learned this correctly. So I'm just going to refer back to my little booklet re really quick. And this image in, is on is in the Kate's Kitchen and it's on page um, 12. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Okay. I see how it's supposed to go. Okay. So it's supposed to go like this. Let's make sure. Okay. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a adhesive right there. And I'm just going to use, since I have it right here in front of me, my um, two-way pen. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to add a little chicken. And I'm so happy because um, this week I'm moving back into my house after two months of living in a hotel. So finally I get to get back to some normalcy and most important, my craft room where I actually have space and have everything um, a little bit more organized than it's been um, being in a hotel. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I want to add this to my page. I'm just going to put it up if it's, well, right there. And I think what I want to do is I want to pop that up. I'm just going to get two stamping dimensionals. Here's our recipe. And so now we're going to put our little booklet together. So this is your front. This is your back. And of course this is going to be our inside. Uh-oh, that doesn't match. Okay. It'll be our inside. And here... This is a tab that we're going to put in the back so it can um, hold up the book. So what it says to do is to fold tab and glue to back of the recipe book. So, I don't want to just fold it any kind of way. So, okay, I'm back. And so what I've done, I've, um, I went ahead and just scored this piece. And so what we're going to do is, is just fold and um, we're going to glue it on in a minute. I just want to get our ribbon put in. Okay. And so, okay, I just want to get this threaded in. And so, and right here, this does not go in there, but you could put a little tag that says this recipe belongs to, in this case, it would be Candace. And you might, well, I was going to see Candace fit in the back. But the way our book has it, it has it like that, so I like that too. Let me see. Zoom out a little bit. Once again, excuse all, excuse all my mess. And so, once you see the picture on my site, you're probably going to see it a little bit differently. So, I'm going to um, blend this up a little bit more. So, I hope everybody have a beautiful scrapping day. And I will see you later.